Before I show this video, I would like to thank everyone for supporting the family and friends of Mandolin Beard. I have never seen such support for anything in my life. Seeing the school come together to show love, to show that we miss her, and to show that we all support her family. It's, it's not just amazing, but it means the world to Maddie's family. And to that I say, we all love and miss you, Maddie Beard. On Tuesday, February 18th of 2014, Maddie Beard committed suicide. For one of the biggest reasons many teenagers kill themselves, and that is bullying. It took everyone as a shock. I mean, she was so happy and enjoyed life to the fullest, but deep down, was in pain from what was going on in her life. Wednesday, on Wednesday of February 19th, around 8.30 a.m., word got around that she passed at the school. I remember looking to my friends and everyone was just crying and sobbing and everything. People falling to the floor, people just crying uncontrollably just to find out that their, their good friend, Maddie, has passed away. I remember walking back to my class and girls were just crying in the bathrooms. The, the teachers had their heads down. I remember even seeing a teacher just tears coming to on her eye while talking to another teacher. It was just one of the most saddest days in my high school. I never knew Maddie very well. We just had a lot of mutual friends, but I always heard people talking about her or people talking to me about her as well that she was just so nice and full of joy, just every day, and so energetic. I remember one time I went and hugged a friend walking with Maddie, and when I started to walk away, she grabbed me and said, hey, where's my hug? She <laughs> pulled me in and squeezed me, and I remember leaning back and then just looking at me with a big old smile. And then she walked away with her friend. Just looking in her eyes, I could tell that me and her could have became good friends easily. I mean, after her passing away, I hear just more and more great and amazing things about her. Stories and memories and just everything. It just makes me miss her more and more, even though I never even truly knew her. Thursday, February 20th. Everyone wore Broncos to our school in memory of Maddie. And people that didn't have Denver, and even people that did, wrote Maddie, M-A-D-D-I-E, on their arm. This was the moment when I seen our school come close together and support the family of Maddie Beard. Me, a close friend of Maddie's, and a family member decided to ask if we could paint our school's rock in remembrance of Maddie. Our school's rock is in front of our school, and it's a big old rock that we always write on showing, uh, you know, uh, our pride, or just showing a big event, or just showing something, just some kind of big thing or event at our school, we write on it. And well, we got the idea to go write on it, uh, you know, write uh, Maddie, you know, or, or something in remembrance of Maddie. So we went over to the office and asked if we could, you know, if, if we could paint the rock or have someone paint the rock in remembrance of Maddie, you know? I mean, it's, it felt the most appropriate to show, not just from everyone wearing Broncos, but to show on, a, on the rock, on every, the big thing that everyone sees and just, you know, uh, the traffic sees every time they pass, that we all miss and love Maddie Beard. Well, the office never got back on us <laughs> about that, so uh, uh, it became the end of the school day, and that's when we took that big picture out by that rock, and you guys can see, uh, you know, people sitting around the rock and sitting on the rock and everything like that, and uh, it obviously didn't get changed throughout the whole day, and so we thought it would maybe, oh, they'll probably paint it Friday, or they'll probably do something, you know, the next day, and uh, it was it was finals, so we had uh, you know it was Thursday after school, and they still haven't painted it, and we had uh, it was finals that were over, so we didn't have school on Friday. So, hey, maybe they'll probably paint it tomorrow, you know, while they're doing their grades or catching up or whatever they're doing, um, you know, there'll be no one at school, so they can probably have a chance to do it. 
Well, Friday night, uh, me and a couple of friends, mutual friends of Maddie's, I should say, drive past to see if they did anything to the rock, but nothing was done. Nothing was done, actually, all weekend. So on Sunday night, February 23rd of 2014, or should I say yesterday, we decided to go and paint the rock ourselves. And that is the video I'm bringing you guys here today. Mitch, the family member of Maddie's, which was really, really close with Maddie, and also a good friend of Maddie's named Fabian, and I bought some spray paint and went to our school and even without permission, painted our rock in remembrance of Turbo, AKA Maddie. Her friends call her this because she always got the job done right then and right there, no matter what the job was. I mean, that's what her friends and the local newspapers said. So I, her family, her friends, and the class of our high school say, we miss and love you, Turbo. Final piece. Rest in peace. We miss you. Maddie Beard, Turbo. aka Turbo. 731 to 218.